There are over 13 thrift stores within a 10 mile radius of my house. And why is that important? Well, to me, it represents profit. It represents money. If you're new here, my name's Evan and I'm an online reseller. That means I go to places like these thrift stores and find stuff that's underpriced or undervalued and flip it online for a profit on places like eBay and Macari. Yesterday, I hit a couple of these stores up and found some pretty cool stuff. I'll show you what I got, how I got it, why I picked it up, and more importantly, what it's worth. So stay tuned. First up is Salvation Army, and I didn't find any good hard goods to resell because they were either overpriced or in bad condition, but looking through the clothes and shoes, I think I did pretty well. Grab yeah. Hoka's, a little worn there. Bottoms are decent. They only want $5.99, I'm gonna grab them. Crocs. Nice signature on. So yeah, grab some shoes. First pair of these Hoka's. If you don't know, Hoka is a great brand to be on the lookout for. They have great resale value. They sell quick. These are kind of worn. The bottoms are definitely worn. There's some, some heel wear on the back here. Only pay $5.99 for them. If I resell them, they should get $20, $25 plus shipping. But the real reason I got them is they're my size. I've been wanting a new pair of Hoka's. I've never tried them on though. So I want to try these first and see if I actually like them before I spend the big bucks on a new pair. Also got this pair of Crocs and they are kind of unusual. They've got these treads on the bottom. There's a signature on the front here and I couldn't read the signature when I was in the store. So I looked up on eBay, signature orange Crocs. Sure enough, they popped up. They're Mario Batali special edition Crocs. He's a famous chef. So they've got a non-slick surface so you can wear them in the kitchen. They're definitely in good condition. A couple rocks and stuff in the bottom. Pay $5.99 for them. Comps on these are kind of crazy. I think I can get $40 for them, maybe more. The only pair listed in this size, they want $100 for. So definitely a good buy for $5.99. Also grab this pair of Echo sandals and they're what they call gladiator sandals and you can probably tell why. But pay $4.99 for them. There's like nowhere on the bottom at all. They look brand new. Couldn't find any comps on eBay, but I did find them for sale on Echo's website for over $100. So there's definitely some value there. I'm thinking at least maybe 30 bucks. So not too bad for $4.99. How cool is this? This is a vintage Swin bicycling hat. The bill is broken, but I still think there's some value there. There's two that have sold for $30 and $40. There's only one listed and I can't find a pink one anywhere. I definitely think there's some value there. And while I was there, I also grabbed this shirt. This is like a cool desert camo pattern shirt. I, I don't know, it's not my style, but I bought it because of the name brand. It's actually made by Game Guard. I'd never heard of that before, but when I looked it up on eBay, there's like 96 that are listed and 170 something that have sold. It's a pretty good sell through rate for clothing, so it should sell pretty quick. It's a nice size, extra large. Should get 20, $25 for it. I only pay 2.99 and it should sell quick, so I picked it up. It's not such a bad stop at the Salvation Army when I got all this stuff. Next up is Goodwill, and sometimes prices at this place, they don't make sense. So this is a portable dog bath system. They want $60 for it. Or I could just buy one on eBay for $49 or $42 or $35 plus shipping. Yeah. So $25 for this head tennis racket. It's not in great shape. So it's, these are sold on eBay. $30, $65 best offer, $32, $30. Yeah, not too great. And then right next to these two items that I think are overpriced is a bicycle. It's a Trek MT220. They want $12 for it. $12 for a bicycle and $25 for a tennis racket. This doesn't make sense to me. So got the bicycle home, rinsed it off with a water hose, put air in the tires, took about 10 minutes. Everything works. Brakes are good. Gears are good. It's a really good bicycle. I'm going to list it on Facebook Marketplace for 100 bucks for a quick cash sale. 12 into 100, I'll take that. And I also found a few other things while I was there. Pre-owned 45, 58. It's pretty good. 
we're gonna get those. They're gonna be 650. I found an interesting pair of Nikes. I typed in that CD number down in there, and there's only two listed, pre owned condition, but six have sold. They look pretty good. They're gonna be 650. They're a little dusty, but other than that, they're in great condition. I think I can just wipe them out. When you're dealing with shoes and maybe it's a brand you're unfamiliar with or a style you don't know, look for a label. This Teva is definitely a good brand, but here's the label on the inside. It's got an SN number. I actually typed that into eBay and you guys saw the comps pop right up. They're going to take a little while to sell. It's winter time, but I mean, 650 into like 40, I think that's worth the wait. And then these Nikes, I'm certainly not a sneakerhead or anything, but there's a CD number. You can look them up on eBay and I saw that there were two listed and six sold. So that's a pretty good sell through rate. I mean, even this pair that are the same size as mine, they're in rough condition, sold for like 44 plus shipping. So I'm thinking I can get even more than that. I only paid 650. And then I also found something else while I was there. So I found a Sony VCR and they want $8 for it. And the comps look pretty good if it works. Sell through rate's really good too, so it'd be a quick sale. But I got a power strip, it does power on. I actually went up to the front of the store and grabbed a random VHS. See if we can test it out. Fast forward. Rewind. Stop. As long as the tape ejects, then we're ready to go. So that was the Sony model SLV-688HF. There's 40 listed, 16 something have sold, and I'm thinking I can get 40 or $50 for it plus shipping. I'm gonna include some RCA cables that I have laying around. I always try and do that when I have them. And even sometimes a blank tape if I have one of those laying around. To me, that bundle just kind of adds more value to the customer. And it doesn't cost you a whole lot more. I also pre-tested the VCR. They had a power strip there. There's a VHS section at the front of the store. I went and grabbed one, tried it out. Everything seemed to work. I will test it again on my TV, but if it works, pretty good buy for eight bucks. And then on the way out, I actually grabbed this t-shirt. It's a vintage Marlboro t-shirt. Been looking for the clothes and not much here. There's nothing to flip for a profit. Well, that's cool. Wait a minute. Paid a dollar fifty for it. All t-shirts in my Goodwill are a dollar fifty. Should get maybe around twenty bucks, but let's hit another spot. So next up is another Goodwill, and I may have done something dumb here. You guys can let me know. Leave a comment down below and just say, you're dumb. I'm, I'm fine with it. I can handle it. So I found this guy, and it's a Horizon Dawn. I guess it's a PS4 game figure. Check out the comps, 142, 200, 132, 150, and there's only one list that they want like 350 for it. The problem is, it's broken. It's supposed to have like a bow and arrow and another hand right there. They want $7 for it. You guys think it's worth it? I don't know, maybe picking it up, put it up for auction and see what happens. It may still have some value. I'm not really sure, obviously it's a rare piece because there's only one listed and several sold. I may pick it up. So yeah, I, I bought the broken statue. It's missing a hand, it's missing a bow and arrow. There's supposed to be like two arrows sticking up here. I, it, like I said, it may have been a dumb move, but I, I kind of wanted to experiment. You guys saw the comps. There's only one listed right now for $350. I mean, maybe I can get $20, $30 for it. Don't know, got it up for auction. I'm gonna let it run seven days, see what happens. It's gonna be a fun experiment if nothing else. But I've got one more stop to go. I picked up my Lucky Charm on the way and we found some interesting stuff. So these are like vintage tennis records. They want three dollars. Everything's half off today. Three dollars for that one. Too. Steffi Graf. The look comps. They look pretty good. I'll tell you about it.
So these tennis rackets may be another shot in the dark. It's just, just me taking a chance. But only paid $3 for both of them, so I think it's worth it. This Reach by Nysel, there's no sold comps, but check out what people are asking. I actually got this one listed, and I'm the cheapest one in the U.S. The rest of them are all coming from Poland and Australia, so we'll see what happens. And then I got this Wilson Pro Staff Steffi Graf model one. There is a sold comp for this. Check this one out, 170 bucks. There are several listed too, so I'm not sure I'll ever get that, but for $1.50, I'll give it a shot. So four stops, spent about three hours, and spent a total of $65.46. That's including the statue and the tennis rackets. Not including the statue and the tennis racket, that leaves a potential profit of around $298.54. If we do sell the tennis rackets and the statue, who knows? But either way, definitely profitable, definitely fun. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.